For thousands of years, people have been killing either others or themselves in the name of God. But how much do we really know about God? If at all God exists, then what are the things he or she can do or not do? And is there really any point in praying to God? We will be examining both the sides of the question, the arguments supporting the existence of God and also the arguments against God's existence. But before that, let's take a look at what the people of the city have to say on this topic. In the Western religions, God is considered to have essentially these three qualities. Omnipotence, which means he or she can do literally anything. Omniscience, which means he knows everything and everything means literally everything, including the future and what's happening in everyone's mind. And the third quality is God is all loving. So keeping that in mind, let's take a look at the famous argument of Epicurus, which most of you might be knowing, but for those who aren't familiar with it, here it is in brief. Epicurus, the philosopher in ancient Greece, thousands of years ago, proposed this counter-argument to the theory of God being omnipotent, omniscient, and all-loving. Epicurus says that if God has all these three qualities, then how and why does evil exist? For instance, he argues, if God can do something to stop evil, and if he is not doing it, then he is not all loving. If God wants to stop evil from existing but is not able to, then he is not omnipotent, that is, he is not all powerful. If he is all powerful and all loving, then how can evil exist? And if he is neither powerful nor willing to stop evil from existing, then why call him God at all? Besides, there is another argument in logic which proves that omnipotence is an impossible quality for any being to possess. The question by Plato, can God create a stone heavy enough that God himself cannot lift it? Now, if you answer to this question with a yes, then God cannot lift that stone. And if you answer with a no, then God cannot create such a stone. So there is something that God will always not be able to do. Hence, omnipotence is an impossible quality for any being to possess, even if it's God himself. With this argument of Epicurus, many of the theists counter-argue, saying that evil is nothing but the absence of good. And it is a byproduct of God giving us free will, that is, the freedom to choose how we should be and what we should do. We will take a look at this argument in the next segment. Till then, think over this topic and let us know what do you think about the existence of God in the comments below. Also write to us what you did not like about this video so that we can improve our next videos. And do subscribe to our channel to remain updated with the upcoming videos and share our videos to help us spread the message to more and more people. Thank you for watching.